Hello and welcome to another edition of Business Africa. I am Afolake Winluye. Coming up, Mauritius set up economic development board to support growth. Seashells and deep drive to protect blue economy. Hundreds of coffee trucks blocked in the port of Abidjan. Mauritius has set up an economic development board, making a new beginning for the economic landscape of the country or to become a strategic institution for development in years ahead. It heralds a new chapter in economic planning, investment, trade, promotion and facilitation. Here's the report. Four trade organs in Mauritius have merged to form the Economic Development Board, EDB, and Economic Development Council that will both promote foreign direct investment, boost exports, and facilitate Mauritian operations in Africa. Inspired by what is being done in Singapore, the new organization will be the sole entity responsible for promoting investment, exports, strategic planning, and economic development, as well as improving the business environment. The economic actors expect this institution to be apolitical, patriotic and in tune with new development challenges. This merger responds to an economic logic and a logic of efficiency in the public service. It's part of developing our international strategy and in Africa. It will also allow Mauritius to fully realize its role as a trade platform in Africa. Previously, the island's economic decisions were taken on an annual basis each fiscal year. The objective of the Economic Development Council is, according to its designers, to restore the place for long-term planning. I am confident enough that the role of the private sector is very positive compared to the state monopoly. We are aware of our responsibility, so we will have formal structures to ensure in all transparency that the EDB machine runs on good governance. The Economic Development Council of Mauritius has eight members who are supposed to rethink the country's economic strategies and comprises of a multidisciplinary team that has two researchers. It gives me the ability to rigorously analyze and find creative solutions that have not yet been identified or tried by the economists, she says. Because we also see this in science. Why can't a country's economy have a multidisciplinary approach? It is very key for Mauritius to bring together people like myself who at first glance are not directly involved. In Mauritius, there is a decline in confidence in institutions according to a recent survey. If the merger of big business is a good thing in itself, it remains to be seen how this economic development council will work. Jamel Kadaro is the former deputy governor of the Bank of Mauritius. He has an in-depth experience in the country's economic and financial sector. He is joining us from Catherbon, Mauritius. Welcome to the program. Now, why has the country decided at this point in time to create an economic development council? There has been general acceptance for some time among stakeholders that Mauritius needs an apex body for formulating, coordinating, and it's everything is medium-term and long-term economic strategy. The Economic Development Board, the EDB, regroups four organizations previously responsible for marketing Mauritius abroad. The expected outcome, as I said, uh, uh, it should lead to better synergy, more judicious use of resources, and higher visibility through more effective promotion and marketing campaigns. And on the macroeconomic front, a reasonable expected outcome is for Mauritius to move to a higher growth band of 5% to 6% in the next five years and classify as a high-income economy within the next 10 years. Currently, Mauritius has been registering growth of around uh, 3 to 4%. 
The Council will be the only body responsible for promoting investment, export, strategic thinking on economic development and improvement of business climate for companies. Concretely, how will this move benefit businesses in Mauritius? The EDB will provide strategic thinking and provide the business sector with clear objectives as well as incentives. Such clarity is important in providing existing and potential investors with visibility on the future. Under this integrated setup, investors will approach only one body and obtain only one clear message on their applications and initiatives. This eliminates the risk of getting conflicting signals from different regulators and should reduce overall processing time. The EDB will have a major role in shaping the future fabric of the Mauritian industrial and exports sector in conformity with the national strategy to make Mauritius a smart island. The EDB will surely promote smart industries in order to employ highly qualified youth and boost exports of the country in higher value added products. The EDB is already in full action. For example, it is coordinating a mission to Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Qatar next week to increase the visibility of the Mauritius International Financial Center in the Gulf region. In your opinion, what should be done to make this mission a success? The EDB should equip itself with the right set of human resource skills and experience to successfully fulfill a crucial mandate. The board has a vital role to play in promoting Mauritius as a land of opportunities for foreign investors and professionals. Finance and talent are two necessary ingredients for Mauritius to ultimately join the League of High-Income Innovative Economies. Communication and consultation with the authorities, private sector organizations, and where relevant the general public is important in the formulation of win-win strategies. Last but not least, to ensure durable success, the EDP should highlight the beneficial implications of adopted policies on different segments of the society, including investors, producers, consumers, and vulnerable groups. Well, thank you very much for your input. No, no, it's my pleasure. Okay. We're taking a break, and when we come back, we'll find out more about Seychelles' blue economic concept. Stay with us.